Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time you're watching this video. Okay, before I start, you are going to need to take notes, so grab yourself a piece of paper and a pen. You may need to draw diagrams, so grab yourself a pencil and a rubber, possibly some colouring pencils. I will ask you to pause the video at certain times throughout the video while you complete a task. You must keep your notes safe because you're going to use them as a revision aid for the exam. And you will need to upload um, your work or a photograph of your work to Teams at the end or you'll need to email me a photo of your completed notes so I can mark them. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at scripts. Okay, so if you would like on your sheet of paper to put today's title, what are the uses and purposes and contents of a script? Okay. Just going to correct this because I'm on a bit of a grammar. I didn't make this slide. Let's just do it correctly. Sorry. Okay. So, what are the uses, purposes, and contents of a script? Okay. And can you put today's date as well, please? So, our key objective is to be able to identify the uses, purposes, and content of a script and apply it to an exam style question. Okay, pause the video if you need to carry on with the title. If not, let's move on. So what I'd like you to do now is I would like you to pause the video. I'd like you to answer the following four questions. Who is a script for? Name two things that could appear on a digital mood board. State who would use a storyboard, and can you recall the three elements of a mind map? So if you pause the video, okay, so a script contains the dialogue and acting information from a film. Name two things that could appear on a digital mood board, okay. Could have images, could have video because it's a digital mood board, you could have audio because it's a digital mood board. State who would use a storyboard. Okay, well, it could be the film crew, the director, the actors, the cameraman. Okay, or camera person. And can you recall the three elements of a mind map? Well, you've got centre nodes, you've got nodes, and you've got sub nodes, and they're all connected up with branches. Okay, so let's have a look at some past exam questions that have been asked. Okay, I don't expect you to answer these now, we'll go through them as we go through the lesson. So we've got here a radio advert will be used to promote the summer holiday sale. A script is required for the advert. Identify two pieces of information that will be included in the script. Explain one purpose of the script. Identify two locations used in the script. Identify two visual characters used in the script. Explain two aspects of the script that require more detail so that it becomes more useful as a pre-production document. Okay, so let's have a look at how we answer these questions. Okay, so our outcomes for today, I can identify script contents and annotate them. Okay, our deep learning outcome is I can describe the purpose and uses of a script. Now to make progress in this lesson, you should be able to answer these previous exam questions effectively. Okay, so you've gained full marks by the end of the lesson. So, with this next bit, I recommend you taking a screenshot of this and printing it out. Or, if you're doing it on the computer, take a screenshot and paste it into a PowerPoint. Because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna annotate this script, okay? So, what I want you to annotate on it, where it's set, so set number, set scene, location, where is it going to be shot, layout, parentheticals, remember parentheticals are 
brackets. Okay, so it's when you're stating, so she's gently, hello there, you come to help me in the garden? Instead of, if it was angry in parentheticals, it would be, hello there, you come to help me in the garden? Okay, so parentheticals are where we use brackets. Okay, camera shots, scene description, where you're describing what's happening in the scene. Stage directions, camera movement, time of day, is it morning, evening, afternoon, sound, sound effects, okay, is there any music, is there any sound effects, explosions, bang, characters, editing reference, and dialogue. Now, if you're not sure about any of these terms, okay, by all means, do a quick internet search, Google them, and then what I would like you to do is I would like you to annotate this script here. Okay, so if you want to pause the video while you do that. I also recommend on your notes making a note of this. So VO stands for voiceover. Okay. Cut to editing instruction. And also you can have equals so you've got the names of characters. So I would make a note of this in your notes so you understand what they are on the script. Okay, moving on. So, in which media industries do the production crews require scripts? Okay, so pause the video and what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to bullet point which industries do you think you would need to create a script for? Okay, so if you pause the video now and we'll go through the answers. Okay, so it could be television, it could be radio, could be film, could be theatre, okay, the director, the cameraman, the writer, editor, actor. Truth is everybody, okay, because the script, okay, allows the director, the cameraman, the writer, the editor, the actor to interpret what the actual um, scene of the film or scene of the radio um, clip or scene um, that's being acted out in the theatre, what it's going to look like. Okay, and what 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 the what the the dialogue is going to be? Okay, it's normally the script would be the first document that would be created if you were going to plan out a film scene. Okay, so our outcomes: I can identify script contents and annotate them. Well, you should be able to do that now. Okay, so here's a question: Explain why a film director needs a script. Okay, so pause the video and have a quick go at answering that. Okay, so the film director needs a script, so then he can use the script to then plan and develop what the film's going to look like. So he'll be able to plan his storyboards, okay, he'll be able to plan out how he's going to shoot the film. All right, so now what we're going to go on to have a look at is how I can describe the purposes and uses of a script. Okay. So what I would like you to do now is I would like you to pause the video and answer the following question. What's the generic uses of a script in pre-production? Okay. So the answer is... The uses of a script, whether you're writing a comedy, a drama, or scripting a factual documentary, the script will set the tone and style for your programme and have a huge impact on how the production progresses. It will contain everything that is required to tell the story, including a narrative. What I would like you to do now is I would like you to make a note of that. Okay, so just make a note of that. If what you wrote before was wrong, you can cross it out. If it ties into the answer, leave it there. Okay, moving on. So, what I would like you to have a go, obviously we're doing this as a video, so we're not going to be doing it in pairs, but what is the purpose of a script? Now, if you're struggling with the word purpose, think of it like this. What can the script identify and what could it provide? Now, just as a quick warning, you will be expected to identify elements 
as part of the exam and you may be asked to analyse one. Okay, so you should have an answer for that now. So what you should have is something that looks like this. So the purpose of any script is to identify the location where the action takes place, to identify who will be in the scene. So for example, the actors, the narrators, to provide stage direction for actors and production crew, to provide dialogues of speech for the actors and other characters. Okay, like before, make a note of that. If what you wrote as part of your answer looks similar, keep it. If it's wrong, cross it out and replace it with the following. Okay, moving on. So, we should now be able to describe the purpose and uses of a script. So here's a question for you to try. Name three things that you would expect on a script. So pause the video. Okay. So, you could have any of the following. There we go. So, any of the, the green labels you could have as part of your answer. Okay. Right, moving on. So, I've given you a clip, oh sorry, a clip, a screenshot, um, a cropped screenshot of um, a passage of text from a book. Now, you might notice it. it so you might recognise this, it's from A Christmas Carol. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to write it as if it's a script. Now you need to use the um, annotated example that you've already created to help you to do it and try to lay it out in the correct way. Now remember, if you go back to that previous um, task we did at the start, Make sure you set it out exactly as that one is. Okay, now you only need to create it for this part of the text. Okay, so it's not going to be a very long script. Okay, have a go. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now is to compare the script that you've created and compare it against the task that you did at the start where you annotated the example. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Okay. So have you set the scene? Okay, have you included the dialogue? Have you um, uses your indentations? And that's where you've, like, you've got your gaps here. Have you set your indentations up correctly? Okay, have you included all of these parts? So if you talked about set, location, layout, okay, if you haven't, pause the video and add them into your answer now. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to forward through. Right, just remember this, high level answers will be able to answer these questions. They'll be able to identify five pieces of information that could be contained within the script. They'll be able to say how many scenes there are in the sequence. Parentheticals, remember brackets should have been used. Okay, and it should state where the scenes are set. Again, now go back, have a look at your answer and add those parts in, making sure you cover all of those five points. Okay, so just pause the video while you do that. Okay, moving on. So what I'd like you to have a go at now is answer the following question. So pause the video. Explain why a script is a suitable document for the pre-production of a television drama. Identify on both your scripts the location used. Okay, have a look. 
It is a suitable document for a television drama because it tells the director, the actors and the producers what exactly they're going to make in terms of the narrative. Okay, remember a narrative is the story. It sets the tone of the piece, tells everyone what is required to actually make it. So, for example, the sets, the location, the makeup, the costumes, etc. Okay. The locations are identified after the words int or x. What do you think int or x could be? Okay, int is interior and x is exterior. Okay, so what does int and x stand for? Int stands for interior, x stands for exterior. Okay, so interior inside exterior outside can you just pause the video and can you make a note of that please okay so we should now we've covered our outcomes i can identify script contents and annotate them and i can describe the purposes and uses of a script okay so the final task that i would like you to do okay i've got a couple of questions identify two pieces of information that will be included in a script okay sorry i should have said the scenario a radio advert will be used to promote the summer bank holiday sale a script is required for this advert so identify two pieces of information that will be included on the script and then finally explain two aspects of the script that require more detail so that it becomes more useful as a pre-production document Okay, so pause the video and have a go at that. Okay. Let's just go back to this slide again. So the first question was really easy. You could have had two, any two of these. Okay. And then if we pick out the two things that could be useful as a pre-production document, could have stage directions, you could have sound effects and talk about, so with stage directions, you're talking about how the scene's actually going to, um, how, how the writer of the script envis envisaged the actual scene being shot, okay? Camera movement, how, how the, the writer of the script envisaged it actually being filmed with a camera, okay? Sound effects, you could talk about how it, it allows the director to then see what sort of music, what sort of sound effects the script writer envisaged being used in the scene. Okay, you could basically take any of these and then you could then explain how it would be useful for the director. So the first question, all you were doing is identifying them, so literally listing them, you get two easy marks. And then for the second question, you were going to list, so identify one and then explain how it would be useful to the director. Easy peasy. Well, that's your lesson for today. Hope you've enjoyed it and see you next time. Remember to upload your notes to Teams.